The wait is over. Work order creation is here. In today's video, we're going to show you the newly available work orders objects within Forms for Salesforce. We have recently moved to API version 54, allowing for more use cases and standard objects. Have you ever had customers ask about Salesforce field service lightning objects? Well, now we will support those objects such as work order, service request, service appointment, and more. To begin, first we'll click on create new form. Next, we'll go ahead and add our form name and then select our primary object, which is in this case will be work order. Then we'll select a secondary object. And for here, we will select service appointment and then click create. Here in our form, on the right hand side, you'll see our regular standard objects under general at the bottom. However, you'll now see the work order option and all of its corresponding objects, as well as service appointment. Next, we'll begin by adding several fields. And remember, you can double click or drag and drop. Let's add a description. And then we're going to add the street and address. Then we will add city, state, and zip. To make it more realistic, I'm going to add the option of work type. And additionally, I'm going to add service note. Since on the job, many HVAC workers will likely have to put some notes depending on the customer they're serving. Then we will add service contract to upload any contract they may have already existing. And last, let's go ahead and pull in file upload in case there are any documents or any images that they'll need to add for this particular client. Just for fun, let's go ahead and add a little bit of flair for this form. I do notice that we need a title name for our form section. To do this, we'll go back to our form. and we'll click the drop down up in that same line. And we'll call it work order form. Then we'll go ahead and click back to style. I'm gonna go ahead and add a logo Otherwise, the form is going to be pretty plain. And then I'm going to center the logo and change a few different colors and shapes. fields. I prefer rounded edges on my form, so we're going to swap the square out for round. Right. 
think that that is all I'm going to edit for now. As we can see, we've added some wonderful fields for this work order form, as well as some color and some differences in shape. Let's preview. When you click the little eye icon in the top right corner, it takes you to a view of your form. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching today and happy building.